Good things happen when you put yourself in front of customers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to structure a motorcycle research conversation. Now, and I want to stress this point, you have to honestly care about what your customers think. You have to really create the mechanism for sharing customers' feedback. This can't be a ruse. It can't be a pretext. It can't be disingenuous. Because A, well, that would be wrong. And B, they'll hear it in your voice. If you have an ulterior motive, it comes pouring out of you. All right? Now, I'm going to break the bank in uh, the time limit on this one, but it'll be worth it. Mark Rogers for Dealer News Magazine. Sales success in 60 seconds or less. Hi, my name is Mark Rogers and I'm calling from Hannum's Harley Davidson. I'm calling for Corey Williamson. Is Corey there? Yeah, this is Corey. Hey, Corey, Mark Rogers, Hannum's Harley Davidson. Listen, we are reaching out to our Sportster riders so we can better understand their riding habits so we can better serve their wants and needs. Do you have a moment to talk about your motorcycle? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Excellent. All right. So as I mentioned, you know, we're uh, reaching out to Sportster owners. Now we've got you on the books as having a 2017 1200 Sportster. Do you still own that motorcycle? Yes. Matter of fact, I do. Excellent. May I ask roughly how many miles do you ride per year? Yeah. All right. Good. Now, would you categorize those miles as around town or on the highway? All right, good. Now, let me ask you this. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being fantastic, how would you rate the fit and finish of your Sportster motorcycle? All right, terrific. Let me ask you another question then. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the maneuverability? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you uh, rate the power of your Harley-Davidson Sportster? I mean, 1, this thing can't get out of its own way. Or 10, you're pulling out tree stumps with this thing. How would you rate the power? And what number would you give the comfort? All right, terrific. I've got one more question for you, and that's this. If you had one word to describe your Harley-Davidson Sportster, what would that one word be? Right on, man. Well, listen, we appreciate your uh, feedback. Now, in the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down what we did, why we did it, and where you can go from here. Because this conversation only goes one of two ways. And either way they go, you're going to be better off. Now, go make everybody better off, man, and go sell something, will ya?